Okay, so here we are, right where we left off in the last video. Uh, so you don't have to see the last video to understand this, because here I'm just going to change the skillful mesh of uh, one of the new units I made in the last video here. Um, just to use um, a mesh that uses a different skeleton, since a lot of people have been requesting how to do that. That's about time. Um, so currently I'm just using a blue version of the regular, uh, the regular old uh, Unreal blue guy here. Uh, though I will be replacing these soon with a new 4.8 skeletal mesh like in the next update or so. Uh, but for now, let's see. So the Mixamo and Impact, we have a few different ones here. Um, so for someone I mean, I think the one that fits the best with the other guys is the alpha here. So let's use the alpha. So the alpha uses a different kind of skeleton, though it looks kind of the same with different animations, so we can't just set it up easily like we can if we use the default Unreal skeleton, like I've shown in, I, I believe, yeah, the third tutorial video I made. So how do we do this now? Okay, um, so first, of course, we have to change the skeletal mesh of this guy. So let's go to him here, and we won't use this mesh, we'll instead use the alpha here. And as you can see, even if we use one of our blueprints, it's still in the T-pose, and the animations don't work, so we have to make a new animation blueprint for this one. And let's, let's keep this green, I mean, so we know it's a friendly. Okay. So we have to make a new animation blueprint, and we'll base it off uh, the animation blueprint um, that we have here. Though I can't make a child component, because I don't think you can change the skeleton of a child component, so I'll just have to make a duplicate of the parent blueprint here. Um, or even that won't work, I think. I think I have to make one from scratch, now that I think of it. Uh, so, we'll start with an animation blueprint. Just have an anim instance first, don't base it on anything. And we'll use, uh, where is the alpha? There. Okay, so we have a new one, and we call this, uh, let's see, mixamo uh, anim bp parent. Okay, so we have the animations here, I guess. Yeah, they are working fine, looking good. And the blend space, we already have a blend space, we don't have to make one of these. I'll just change the range to be the same as our other, our other animation blueprint. Come on. There. There, okay. Um, but we're still not doing anything in the anim graph. Uh, we want to do the same stuff as we do in, let's see, in the anim blueprint parent here. So in the event graph, we'll just copy all of this stuff and we'll put it here instead. Just delete this, delete this. There, okay. And now we have lots of variables that we have to set up again. So let's just create these variables. There. Great. Um, so that should be working. And then in the anim graph, let's see what do we have here? The anim graph, the old anim graph, we have this state machine. We'll just copy this and we'll modify it as we need. My state machine, yeah. <laughs> this name I was using when I was following an animation tutorial, I just kept that, it seems. I can keep it like that, why not? Okay, so I will guess, yeah, we're getting a lot of compilation errors. Uh, that's to be expected. Uh, so let's first check here at the idle walk run. At the moment we're using the old blend space, but we want to use the new blend space that's called Mixmo Blend Alpha. Okay. There. And we'll connect up speed. Hmm, doesn't like that. Okay. We'll just get speed again. This should work. Yeah, okay. 
Um, so yeah, we changed that, we changed the other animations as well. So uh, yeah, we don't have a death animation here actually. Hmm. Okay, let's just <laughs> yeah, let's just use this just for the tutorial. Um, so there, start swinging when he dies or she. Um, and for punching, uh, I shouldn't call this punch actually. It's used uh, since we're using many different animations, but yeah, let's use the shooting here. There, great. And still, we have to change the transitions here. Yeah, we just have to. I guess, guess we'll just have to have these again. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. And. Impulsively compiling error. Okay, yeah, it seems to be working. I'm sure there are still some things we have to set up, but let's see how it works now. Yeah, okay, so she's still in the T pose. Yeah, of course she is. Because she has to use the new animation blueprint. There, okay. And. Can she walk? No, she can't. Ah, we have to change it up in the event graph of the unit as well, of course. Um, so let's see, we have to have the appropriate animations here. So we're casting to an MPP parent here, and we have to, of course, cast to the new Mixamo instead. There. Then we set up the move animation. That and we connect it up to where the old one was and delete that and it should be working there. And let's do the same down here. Just cast this. Get our oh hmm. I'm not get, just there. Where's our attack animation? Yeah, we put it here. Um, so let's cast to this and the attack animation. Great. Okay. I think there's one thing missing before this works, but let's check it out first. She shoots. Yeah, she continues shooting. Um, as I expected. By the way, let's let's make this box invisible. Um, there. Okay. Um, so one last thing to do in the animation Mixamo blueprint here. Uh, we have nothing that fires off the anim notify at the, anim at the end of the shoot animation, so it never turns off the animation. Uh, so let's just add one of those. Um, let's see. Add a notify. Um, second. Let's just add it again just to be sure. Maybe it works. Let's see. Yeah, it works. Okay. Great. Um, okay. So we have this guy set up working. Let's see. Let's get 
Let's blow up this tree. Yeah, you can get me. Okay, maybe we can get this debris to fly away. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is still difficult terrain though. Yeah, so this isn't a perfect implementation anyway. Uh, but it works. Uh, but yeah, this video is to speak about the skeletal meshes. Um, so yeah, just so you know, you don't have to use any of these animations or anything for anything to work. Uh, anyway, if I just use the parent here, um, he can attack and move just like any other. So. So if you want to have something that doesn't use the skeletal mesh, like a spaceship or tank or whatever, that's easy enough to do. So let's just make a child blueprint of this, of the parent, and add a static mesh um, to the grid anchor. And uh, let's use my other tree. Let's see. Oh yeah, I haven't placed him. Um, then he should work too. Ra. Okay. So you don't have to use the static mesh at all uh, in actuality. So, this health bar here. Beautiful. Okay, so you can use anything for these pawns, you don't have to use the skeleton mesh. Um, and by the way, for those who didn't see my previous video, uh, when we were changing the animations here, uh, I have made some changes in this unit, so if you are not making using custom units, just change the animations uh, here, here, and here instead. And it will work just the same. Um, okay. So I guess that concludes my video about adding your own uh, yeah, static meshes with or skeleton meshes with different skeletons and static meshes for units and all of that. And yeah, I hope that helps you guys make some great turn-based strategy games. Uh, hopefully something that looks a bit better than uh, this violent tree simulator. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for now. Bye-bye.